Last week, we explored the control step of the remodel benefits process, and specifically how redlining your insurance contracts will directly impact how much you spend on health insurance. And today we're gonna to take that control step a step further when we talk about how self-funding your health plan can give you the ultimate control. And our story today is about a local manufacturer who has about 90 employees enrolled on their health insurance plan. And about two years ago, they were facing a 35% increase from United Healthcare on their fully insured renewal. Now, United Healthcare wasn't willing to budge even 1% off that number, and there were no other competitive fully insured options on the table. Now, we had been preparing this employer about self funding for years. So when this 35% percent renewal hit, they had a plan. They were ready to move into a self-funded arrangement. And because of that, they were now able to align their health insurance plan with partners that had their best interests in mind. They ended up moving from United Healthcare to a third-party administrator and an independent pharmacy benefit manager. They also added a few other vendors to the mix as well to improve their overall program. Then they improved their plan designs, improved employee contributions, and added a benefits rewards program. This is where they essentially gave away services for free when their employees, spouses, and children make great healthcare decisions. And over two years later, they're spending the same on health insurance as they were prior to getting the 35% increase from United Healthcare. So amazing results from this employer. And the lesson learned is that when you self-fund your health insurance plan, you automatically open yourself up to so many many more options, specifically when it comes to the vendor partners within your health insurance plan. And when you choose partners that have your best interests in mind, and again, we do that by focusing on how they get paid, you will start to see different results. Now, this particular employer made some major changes, but the fact is most employers only need to make one or two changes when they self-fund their health insurance plan to see major results. But the point is, is that when you move into a self-funded arrangement, you as the employer afford yourself the most possible control, giving you the best chance to reap the biggest rewards as well. Now, the action this week is simple. As you prepare for your upcoming renewal, request a self-funded proposal along with your fully insured quotes. Because next week, I'm gonna walk through the actual document we presented to this employer to help them make their decision from moving from a fully insured program into this self-funded arrangement. I'm gonna walk through the various different components of a self-funded proposal and arm you with some key questions that you can ask your broker when they review that self-funded proposal with you. So make sure you tune in next week as I walk through that self-funded illustration. 